Hello guys, this is the episode 10 of To Heal With You series and um, the uh, trigger warning rape talks um, To Heal With You episode 10 His past dream Sukishima so came to a scene that had two girl beings with blurry faces talking One totally white sitting down on a chair across one who was totally black Their postures screamed grace, power, and most of all anger Sukishima was frozen still in his dream and able to move. She'll hate you. I hate me too. Why are you doing this? I... Love her? If you love her, then tell her. I did. She didn't like me back. When? When what? When did you ask that bitch? She is not a bitch. What's it to you anyway? The black one turned her head as if to avoid the white one's wrath poured into words. What's it to me? This is about what your feelings are doing to you. Obio, wake up. Obio? She doesn't like you. The white one had gotten up streaming right in the face of the black one who was unbothered and unfocused. Both of them had tears streaming down their eyes. She mastered you to play around. Please, I am here for you. This time, the black one faced the white being and a broken smile etched into her face. It was weird for Sekishima to see someone smile like that then screamed in anger. But I want her. She's the one who should be here holding me to keep me intact. But she's not because she's too busy. Too busy because of the person she had fallen in love with at first word. The black one suddenly disappeared, leaving the white one crying her eyes out. Why? Why? Why can't it be me? The dream paused and glitched. Time was frozen as Sukishima realized the tears flowing down from his eyes. Slowly and suddenly, his tears that didn't stop flooded the room and ultimately drowned Sekishima. Sekishima struggled to keep afloat, but when the water pushed through to his lungs, he welcomed the gentle embrace of the warmth of the once harsh and cold flood of tears. Sekishima got up and breathed heavily. He sat up to catch his breath. He nervously ran his fingers through his hair and heard two women fighting on the room next door. He groaned. Don't tell me those noises are the ones that triggered my nightmare. Sakishima plopped down on his feet and, and stared mindlessly into the ceiling. He reached out to grab Hinata's hands, but since his arms were long, he touched his thighs accidentally. Sakishima immediately snatched his hand. Hinata groaned in his sleep and tossed and rolled over to the side of the feet and away from Sakishima. Sakishima decided to not mind the dream as he was convinced that the women in the next room were the ones he heard in his dream. It was an unsettling and weird dream, but Sukishima let it go. Not my problem anyway. Suddenly, Sukishima heard whimpers from beside him. Hinata was shaking while whimpering. Sukishima immediately sat up to check Hinata to see if he was injured. Tobio. Stop. Oi, Shrimpy, wake up. Sukishima slowly shook his shoulders. Shoya's eyes shot open and he instantly latched into Sukishima and breathed heavily. He was still shaking and silent tears flowed. Sukishima was hesitant since he didn't know what really happened in Shoya's dream. Still, he patted Shoya's head and hugged him. Okay, you're at top, right? Shoya, touch me. Sukishima looked down to see Shoya with tears in his unfocused eyes. No, the it- Shoya first fully slammed his lips on Sakishima's, his tongue entering Kay's mouth easily since he was in the middle of a sentence. Kay got swept up in the mood and kissed back. Fuck. His thoughts cleared up when he felt Shoya's tears on his cheeks. Sakishima pinned Shoya down on the feet and looked down on him. Shoya smiled, thinking he got what he suggested at the spur of the moment. This isn't what we should do, Shoya. Didn't you say physical touch will keep you grounded? Come on, touch me. Please. Shoyo, talk to me about it. Shoyo covered his face with his arms as tears poured down. Sukishima sat back down to his feet and... Suki, can you believe it? I lost it. To him. Sorry. Shoyo, 
You can talk to me about it. I won't judge on us, just don't pull what you did on me. Good thing it was with me. Because if it were anybody else, they'd have done you already. Sukishima so touched the hands of Shoyo and Shoyo gripped one of his fingers. Sukishima so could feel Shoyo shaking from just. He leaned over and plugged in the dino nightlight he brought with him. I'm sorry, Kay. I'm really sorry. It's fine, Shoyo. Don't mention it. Now, will you come and get a hug from your favorite blocker? You aren't my favorite, but yes, I will. Shoyo crawled over to Sakishima's feet and settled on the lap of the blonde. I'm really sorry, Kay. I didn't know what came over me. It's fine, and Asahi knows how soft your lips are. That was inappropriate and weird, since if I didn't know what you meant, I would think Asahi already kissed me. Oh shush, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I apply lip balm to keep them soft. At least I know the result, right? Mm -hmm. I keep on getting you to comfort me. Since you're always there when I'm down. Like, how do you do that? I follow the crumbs little orange head left on his way. By the way, I'm all I'm hearing is mumbled words, so I'm sorry if I answer wrong. The whole time they were talking, Shoyo was buried in Sukishima's chest. Shoyo laughed softly and soon they were surrounded by silence. Shoyo curled closer and pressed his ear into Kei's chest. Should I pry? Hmm, what did you hear? You saying Hagiyama's name and saying stop. Then you jumped on me, kissed me, then asked me to do you. I mean, I kinda get what your dream was about, but... You want me to tell you if what you heard was... True? You did say liar when Kageyama said you wanted it. Well, okay. He raped me. Tsukishima's grip on Shoyo tightened and he planned to kill a certain setter. Let's just say he did it right after I confessed. As proof of my love. But I didn't see you limp when we practiced though. Hey, are you serious? Sorry, I just felt guilty. I was close to jumping you a while ago, Shoyo. I was almost gonna do what he did, but you didn't. Because you were crying. If you weren't, who knows what I could have done to you. At least you could say I jumped you first. That doesn't help the fact that you did it on impulse. Sukishima sighed and Shoyo started feeling guilty of what he had done. He knew saying sorry would only be replied with, it's fine. Sukishima pulled away from the hug and held both of Shoya's shoulders. Promise me that you will take care of your body and that you won't do that to me again. To anybody, in fact. Let's not forget I'm a healthy high schooler, okay? I'll be tempted with the slightest bit of seduction, so don't think about it. Okay? Shoyo was looking away when Sukishima was lecturing him. He was scared of Sukishima's eyes if they showed disappointment or pity. Sukishima took Shoyo's chin and forced him to face him. Okay? All he could see in Kei's eyes were worry. Okay. Good. Now cuddle me to sleep because you woke me up. I'm sorry if I did. I'm joking, Shoyo. I was awake because I had a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Sukishima so tried to remember the dream. Hmm. I can't seem to remember it. It's good that you don't remember it then. After all, it was a nightmare, right? Right. Sukishima so kissed the forehead of Shoyo and pulled him along when he laid down. Can you unplug my dino nightlight for me? Why do you even have that? Can I have it? Hmm, I wonder. Also, Kay, since I always do this to you, what should I do to, um, earn your forgiveness if you ever get angry, like, angry, angry at me? Um, a peace offering of a dino plushie and a do whatever Kay says coupon. How about you? 
I like it when the ones at fault listen to me. And um, maybe a large, large bouquet of purple peonies since it's winter, and a ballroom dance because I keep on stepping on my partner's male or female. Just saying, I know both male and female dances. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Shoya yawned at the end of his sentence. Sleep? You said it. Shoya cuddled into the arms of Kay and was lulled to sleep with Kay's humming of Hindenburg Lover. What song is this? I'll ask him tomorrow. So that was the episode 10. Um, to be continued. I made it on purpose that Tsukishima strays from the topic of Shoyo being raped and talks about his problems instead because he has never been one to talk and know a situation which involves trauma comes up unexpectedly. His fight or flight instincts rush in and he chooses to fly. Shoyo also doesn't mind that the topic isn't focused on him since he didn't want to be reminded that it was real and that he's talking about it. Sorry if that part really really annoyed you and... I love you guys so much. See you in the next chapter. Next week will be my second semester, so I'm not sure of the updates. Bye.